In this example, we'll show you how to use the PDF Butter Static Values data source to actually translate labels, texts, values, anything that you use that you need inside your documents for a specific language or locale. A language is, of course, the language of the customer or the language of the user you can choose. And a locale is a combination of language and country. So making a split between uh, German in Germany and German in Austria, for instance. That's uh, what a locale can do. Let's take a look at an example. We have a document here. And in the document, we want to use uh, several labels and want to get them translated depending on the uh, locale or language of the customer. So we, of course, going to now uh, have a translation of these locales somewhere. We don't want to choose for multiple documents that are translated. We chose for one document with uh, translated labels. Yeah? And we're going to store these labels in a static values data source. So for each label, for each uh, uh, config type that I have here, uh, sorry, merge fields that I have here, I have obviously um, for each language that I want to support, I have a label. If you say, well, um, I want to have some defaults set for the labels, you can just say, well, I'm going to go for label uh, one and I'm going to say default value here, default value and not define any language. So when the language is not defined, it will use that one as the default. Otherwise, it will search for the locale or the language for that specific label. OK, so we have our uh, static values data source here. Now, when I go to my config, you uh, can introduce the uh, labels translation um, data source, but it will not have any of the merge fields. So you have to add these merge fields manually. Uh, it does not know which labels you have selected or want to use here. Maybe you want to use this uh, translation data source in multiple configurations, but you don't want to have all the labels over there. So let's say that I copy this, uh, uh, this field over here, uh, label account number, and then I'm just going to paste it here and it's of type text. So here I can just add fields, all the labels that I require, indicate if they are a date or a currency or a Boolean, anything that you would like. Okay, cool. So I have my dates now, uh, sorry, I have my labels here set and now I can just go, go and create a config, a config type. So I'm going to copy the merge field over here, go back to the configuration, and then I'm going to add a config type for that specific uh, label. So it's going to be of type single. I'm going to choose the labels translation, uh, label one, and the merge field is label one. Uh, I'm going to click cancel here. Please don't do that because I already had the label set up, as you can see right here. Now, let's go to, uh, to test this. We're going to go into a PDF Butler, uh, sorry, into an opportunity. And on the opportunity, I have set my locale. And the locale in this uh, case, I have uh, created a pick list to set the locale. Obviously, you can choose how you want to do this. If it's via a formula field, if a flow sets the values, anything is possible. Uh, but yeah, that is some way. Maybe it's the cust it's the, the user that defines the language, then you don't have to do anything. The user is used out of the box, the locale of the user. But if you want to make it the uh, locale of the customer, then you can just change that right here. So let's start with the German one. I'm going to say save and let's generate the document. In the document now, it will take all of the translations for Germany. As you can see, this is the uh, the labels that I have selected for Germany. All of them are right here and they match perfectly with what I have here for the German uh, translations. Awesome. So let's uh, uh, now quickly change the property. Let's say that we still want to uh, uh, sell in uh, in in uh, uh, for for an English uh, language to English. Now, if I generate, it will take uh, behind the scenes. It will take uh, the uh, locale of uh, uh, English. So it will take all of the English translations for all of the labels that I have created. And that's how easy you can now work with labels and make translations depending on the language of the customer or the language of the user.